We are in Santa Rosa, California at Smack and Soul Food, a pop-up. And today we are with... Hi, I'm Justin with Thanks for the Invite. And we're getting a behind the scenes peek. Let's uh, check out what their kitchen's like. Thank you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Thank you guys for coming. It smells yeah, yeah. awesome in here. We have some Jeez. chicken wings that we're gonna make. You started during the pandemic, I heard? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. So I quit my job after 23 years at Memorial, and I was done. And I quit two months before the pandemic happened. And they're like, "Can you come back?" And I was like, "Yeah, no." And then I was like, "What are we gonna do?" And she's like, "Mom, there's this thing called Instagram." She's like, "You should try it." So we did. And next thing you know, we just started selling whole plates out of our house. And then I was like, "You think we're gonna get in trouble?" And then they're like, "We called the health department." They're like, "We're not open." And I was like, okay, well, tell me when you guys are so we can get licensed. <laughs> so then we got licensed and, you know, we became a caterer. And then now we're the featured caterer for, like, Wedding Expo. Mm -hmm. Makayla got to cook for Dave Chappelle. No way. So you cook for Dave Chappelle? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but he came to the loop there. What would he eat? Um, so actually, he is vegan as well. So we luckily had vegan collard greens, which he was, like, mind blown. He was, I think that was his favorite dish. A vegan collard greens and then... We did. Red beans and, and then what was the main dish? It was waffles. 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 Couldn't bring your phones, no nothing. It was just like, here's the food. Tell him about your story and hope to God he likes it. And it, it gave me just like a very personal, like, I made good food. Like, it just a very happy moment for me. You needed oil base to soften your collard greens up. So I used an olive oil and then a bunch of seasoning. And that looks so healthy. It is very healthy. So soul food can be healthy, you know? You don't have to have, like, fried chicken all the time. Do you put sugar in it at all? No. No sugar and no meat? No meat. I'm going to try. So I'm a big fan. I'm going to sit there and try to figure this out. So I've had collard greens, and it's like half bacon, half sugar, yeah. a lot of vinegar. A lot of vinegar. Yeah. So this is the puree that I use. It's like a... It's a peach puree that we usually do like a peach cobbler, but we put it over the wings after we fry the wings and then we toss them. And put them over the wings and waffles so you got like a sweet and salty. It's a little secret that we do. The sauce. I tried the peach sauce and it's like taking a bite out of like peach cobbler, like really good peach cobbler, but it's a little bit, that's really, I'm gonna, that's great. That's really good. It's it's tastes li just like peach cobbler. It probably goes crazy on wings. Yeah. I'm gonna have an issue with that. Yeah. This is the peach wings, and we're gonna top it on top of the waffle. It's a cinnamon waffle. Yeah. The cinnamon calms the stomach down. So when you eat a rich piece of fried chicken, and you add a little bit of cinnamon to it, you won't have a tummy ache. COVID lifted, I was like, where am I gonna cook? I need a licensed kitchen. And then my girlfriend was like, was it like your family member or a vet? And I was like, yeah, she was like, girl, you better go get that vet building. <laughs> I saw your makeshift fryer. Wild. <laughs> okay, so down south, we, we have fryers and stuff like that, but down south, my mamma used to always make these makeshift fryers. So we get a pot. Or we get a large pan, and then you don't have to worry about draining a 50-pound fryer at the end of the night. Yeah, for sure. I drain my fryers at the end of the night into this and thing. Like, and I have this special thing. But this is a makeshift fryer. It is. With hotel pans. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this before, and it is sick. This is sick. Yeah, and then, you know, you just boom, boom, boom. You're killing it. You're done. You know, you guys are so good behind that goddamn camera. Thank you. It's fresh to see someone in the kitchen and you really enjoy yourself. I do. It's and I could feel that you enjoy it. Yeah. And your daughter is just... Oh, I You guys are electric together. I yeah, love it. Yeah, we dance. It's a we combo. Like, well, you know, we grow up dancing together, right? And so when we started cooking and I was teaching her about cooking, I was like, we're going to dance together. Because our kitchen is this wide at our yeah. house. I'm super excited to try the catfish. Not a lot of people do catfish around here. They don't do catfish. As a matter of fact, I got into a huge argument at Costco with the manager. Oh, did you? And I said, I think that you guys are being a little biased and you need to order catfish. <laughs> and cut back on the salmon. How do you guys do not killing each other being mother-daughter? Uh, we do. We do definitely yeah. kill each other. But I think it's like, okay, pause. You are a business partner and not just my mom. 
Yeah. yeah. Like, Mom, I but he used to put us in check. Now yeah. we have nobody. Yeah, oh, now I'm yeah. I look at her and I'm like, gosh, I have those moments. And then I'm like, wait, no, no. We're doing this together. We're not out of each other. We're here to take a dance. Like, no, we, COVID made us talk It definitely, us. Yeah. it's a dance that we have to do together. And sometimes I'm the man dancing her and sometimes she's the man dancing me. And we, we just go with it. Fish with the tartar sauce and some fries. We have some colored greens up in here uh, and they're vegan as well. So for all of our vegan lovers, you're more than welcome to still enjoy the greens. And then we have also the shrimp mackerel. It's a Cajun saute with our smacking sauce and it has just a topping of some green onions. Wow, that looks really good. I, it all looks really good, but that one looks like... That's like... Yeah, yeah. 